it is at its core a video generation model, you know, using like a diffusion technique. Right. However, uh, one very difficult challenge that we faced in making this world model was making it controllable via actions. So most video generation models are text to video, where you t type in a prompt and it generates some uh, video. What we have found was that in the process of converting an existing pre-trained text-to-video model into um, into our world model, um, the text-to-video kind of conditioning layers didn't give us very much, and we actually had to basically retrain the whole thing from scratch to pay attention to actions. And and having really really high quality action data sets was really important to make this work. Um, you don't really get action controllability out of the box from most text-to-video models. That's mm -hmm. not what they are prioritizing. Um, which, which is kind of an interesting finding. And um, so we basically had to kind of like mid-train this model from, from scratch um, to, to make it really pay attention to what our robot is doing. Would a very advanced version of a world model pass a Turing test of uh, a physical reality? Well, yeah. I mean, we start to see people move realistically in the world model now. So you can imagine that like um, the hallucinated people in the world model get more and more intelligent as we scale it up. Right. Not to mention the robot gets more intelligent in the world model, but like you can see like just if you slice out just the behavior of people in the world model and what they do, like um, there's clearly some intelligent behavior there. And then I, I'm mm. personally super interested to see like um, would those people in the world model pass the Turing test at some point. <laughs> and and we see this actually with VO3, right? Like there's right. people that do some very in interesting like um, interesting uh, generations of people speaking inside of, of these latest video generation models. Right. Um, but with a world model, it is a, it's an interactive model in the sense that it can respond in, in uh, it, it can respond to kind of changes in actions. Right. So the way that a Turing test might work is that like the world model responds in a very psychophysically accurate way to, uh, to, to, you know, interventions by the, the, the robot actions.